Hey guys, in today's video, I am gonna show you how to reupholster your seats using L-seat seat covers. I'm gonna get right into this. I'll show you every single step. Okay guys, so here it is. Let's get started on this right away. Uh, let me just show you how defective it is. Okay, so yeah, this is the better one of the two, but if you look up close, see? Leather is cracked, you got a burn hole. You know what I mean? It's not looking super good. Uh, this back part is okay. There's one little blemish there, I'll fix that. Um, I am gonna repaint the back and I'm also repainting all the metal. Um, I'm not gonna really show that in depth because I have other videos on that, but I'll show it roughly in this video. Mainly we're gonna reupholster this. If your foam is damaged inside, I have a really good video on that. There'll be a link to it on how to fix the foam. I think in this case, we might be good. We'll see when we take this apart. Okay, so the first thing we gotta do is take this off. Okay, so you grab a flat screwdriver, you put it in here, you just kind of see and that pops out okay so this is what it looks like see so you have this kind of clip and this kind of clip see so what you have to do is right in here see you have to get a little wee screwdriver you got to put it in between here and you kind of jam it in there and push like down on it here and you got to do the same thing there and then this will come off so uh it's hard for me to record that so i'm just going to off camera pull this out i already did the other side as you can see okay next you're going to pull this out and then on the bottom here there's two phillips head screws one on one side one on the other side so i'm gonna pull that off and then the back will come right off okay so this just came right off like i said it would so now you go around and see right here these things you just unclip them like this see you go around and you start unclipping these just like that so i'm gonna go around and do this whole entire back okay so i got all those off so now you're gonna go around and you just gotta pull this off like this everywhere and once you got that done you're gonna need some side cutters guys and we're gonna have to start cutting the hog rings i will get to that okay i'm gonna unflip this right now okay so i got this all flipped forward so now you need some side cutters they look like this okay so you gotta get in here right see and you have to because this is attached to the foam so you have to like open this sideways see like so and there's these little hog rings they're called and you have to go around see And you have to cut them all the way so you can detach this from that so there's like a rod there there's a rod on the other side and then each one of these has a rod so i'm going to go around and gently disconnect all these and you're reusing the rods like the new uh seat covers don't come with the rods you got to reuse the old ones all right that's going to probably take me about 10 minutes so i'm going to do that right now okay so i disconnected it as you can see so you're gonna have to pick out any little pieces of metal uh like this the old hog rings right um so anyways i got this down so now you can pull the cushion off you just gently see it's it's not glued on it just kind of it just kind of on there so you got you get see it comes right off it's in really good shape i don't even think we're gonna have to do anything to it there's maybe one or two spots that I'm gonna reinforce. Like I said, I have a cushion foam repair video. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get the cushion off and then this should slide out. It might be attached underneath this part. I just find it's easier to get this cushion off with that not being there. And this is an electric seat. So for me to like recline it all the way back, I'd have to go put it back in the car and I just don't wanna do that. But I'm gonna take this off and this off right now i might have to go in underneath and and there might be a hog ring or two holding there's like a like a strap that goes under from this underneath which uh, i believe you can get to it from under there so okay okay i got the cushion off so this is what you're looking for in the back of the cushion see right here how it's ripped 
So yeah, if that's the case, this one's in very good condition, but it is ripped a little bit. So if that's the case, you're gonna have to watch my cushion video on how to repair it. And then this part, just like I said, see? So that pulled out from underneath. See what I mean? Sometimes these are hog, ring, hog ringed on underneath there, but in my case, it wasn't. Okay, we're gonna move on to pulling this off. I'm just gonna clean this thing up, pull all the little metal hog rings out. And then out of this, you can cut this up because you're not gonna need it. See, there's these metal rods inside of it. See, there's one, two, three, four, five. Your seats might be a little different. So you gotta pull all these out. See, they just look like that. And if they're bent in any way whatsoever, you just straighten them. It's like a clothes hanger material. And if one is rusted and you're missing it, I just use the metal clothes hanger to replace a few of them when I did the back seat, guys. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. Okay, so now this whole entire cushion comes off. So on each corner, see there is one of these. So I find the best thing to do to get these off is you grab like needle nose vice grips and you kind of like squish this thing and then it pops out. So there's one there, one there, one there, one there. We're gonna flip over the seat right now. Some of them are hard to get to. You might have to pull your switches off depending on your setup. Okay, I got it upside down. I got my vice grips. Uh, this totally works. So you just grab it, right? You give it a squish and you just push on it and it does come out. I'm having a hard time here because it's only a one hand setup. See, there it goes, right? So the only problem is to get to this one here. See, it's like surrounded by all this. So you need to unscrew. There's a screw there, there, there. And you'll be able to just slide this whole switch thing out. So I'm gonna do that. And then I'll be able to do that on each corner and this cushion will come right out, guys. Okay, so I disconnected all the wires and everything, right? I disconnected these. So there's one more uh, bolt, which I forgot to mention, or, or screw right in there, see? So I'm getting that one out right now and this whole thing will just come right off so I can expose this part to get the cushion off. Okay, so see, I put the screwdriver in like this so I can kind of pry it. And at the same time, you give that a squeeze. So I've already done the other side. It totally worked. All right, guys. Well, there it is. She came right off. So um, any kind of cleanup of this and painting of this, I'm just going to leave that out of the video, guys. Um, I have videos on how to paint leather and vinyl. I use... A scotch bright pad like this from an automotive store. This is the equivalent of like 320 grit sandpaper. You scuff it up, you clean it really good. And then this is the paint you want to use right here. This stuff is amazing. You can paint leather with it, plastics, uh, color coat by Sam. It's wonderful stuff. I've painted my all my interior with this in my car and it looks amazing. So like I said, I'm going to clean all this up, paint it, paint that black. I'm also using the SEM color called black paint. It's also good on that even, it sticks to everything. We're just gonna focus on the reupholstering part, guys. And I'm also painting the back of this with the same paint to make this look brand new. Um, I, had, I had a parts car, that's where I got that from because mine was broken on the other seat. All right, we're moving on. Okay, so on the back of this, right? Same thing, you're gonna go around and you're gonna unclip all these and you're gonna pull this off. The only thing you gotta be careful of is these things here, right? Uh, you don't wanna put this down and like push on it because you will break them. So be really, really careful with these. If you do break one, you can pop these out or actually pop it in and then put a new one. You can get new ones. That's what they look like. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna unclip this. Once it's unclipped, same thing. You fold this over and we're gonna get the hog rings out because they're attached the same way as the back was and we're going to get all the rods out but don't mix up you know these rods with your other rods keep them all separate okay so i'm going to take this apart off camera it's pretty straightforward okay guys here we are a few days later so check out what i've done 
So I painted this. See how nice that looks? I painted all of this using that sem, uh, sem color coat paint. Turned out incredible. Like it looks brand new, I'm telling you guys. Also, uh, this reclining part never worked. So I actually have a video on how to repair this cable for like $7. So at the end of this video, there's gonna be a link to that video. And so I repaired all that. It works super smooth now, see? So that's what I did there. So this is 100% ready to go. So the cushions, so I have a cushion repair video. There will also be a link at the end of this one to that video. See, so I repaired all this. It's super, super strong. This is never coming apart. See at the back, remember where I showed you where it was ripped a little bit? See, that's how you do it. You, you, you fix it, which is exactly what I did. This is like 100%. This will outlast the original. So I did that and I did the bottom cushion as well, as you can see. So yeah, I'm not including that in this video, but let's get started on reupholstering these guys. Oh yeah, one more quick little thing. That's our seatbelt. It's ready in real time. Good enough, that looks beautiful. Okay guys, so we're gonna do the backrest first, right? So you're gonna need a set of hog ring pliers. So I got these from L-Seat, same place I got the seat covers. L-Seat, great place. I got the uh, hog ring, hog rings, I guess. Also from the same place, when I ordered those, I ordered that and that. So here is our covers. As you can see, these are incredible quality. I'm ultra happy with these. At the end of this video, I will show you everything in the car. Like the stitching is so nice. I mean, I got no complaints about these at all whatsoever. Maybe they were a little bit wrinkled uh, when they were packaged, but the wrinkles just go away on their own after some time, I noticed, because most of the wrinkles are gone on this one already. And the ones in the car, they're completely gone. Okay, so, and you get this part too. So let's get started on this. So the first thing we're going to do, guys, is we are going to attach this, this, and this. We're going to attach the three center pieces, right? See, that's where they attach the hog rings. They attach there, there, there one per each right so we're going to attach these three first then we're going to slide in these longer rods like this and then we're going to attach the side ones but first you attach these three which are the shorter rods if yours are bent you can just bend them back no big deal right so all you do is right in here you just slide them in just like that. Really nothing to it. So one, two, and three. I'm going to slide those in right now. Okay, all three are in. So all you're doing is you just got to, you know, you don't want it like like that when you, when you put the hog rings in. You want it right in the middle, right? So then you flip this thing over, right? And you could start at the bottom. So what you got to do is just make sure that this, see this is like in this groove and this side is also in the groove, right? Like you have to center it the best you can, right? And you flip this up, see what I mean? Just like that. And you're gonna grab your hog rings, see? And you're just gonna go through this and through that. And you're gonna run the hog ring through to attach it see just like that so you're gonna go one two three keeping this center and keeping this center it's pretty straightforward guys you are gonna need a hole punch later i will get to that i got this at canadian tire it was like 25 bucks you can set it to any size this is great uh mastercraft brand okay so you just break one of these off it's pretty straightforward right there's little grooves in there 
You just put this on like so. You see? And then you can just go in there and you give it a squish. I'll try to get it on camera for you. Let's see if it's possible. Okay guys, this is really hard to record because I do not have a cameraman because I'm not rich yet. But you basically go like this. There you go. So I got it. It's hard. It's gonna take you a few tries to really get good at it, but there it is. See what I mean? It is attached, see? So now you go around and you do that and that, and then that one, and then that one. I think I'm gonna do that off camera, guys. Um, yeah, I'll do those three, and then I'll show you how to slide in the side rods, and we'll do that. Okay, so I got all three of these attached. They're on nice. So now you take the long rods, right? And you're gonna slide it in on one side and slide it in on the other side, right onto here. And the way you wanna do these side ones, right? If when they're in here, you just gotta make sure that they're not like this, right? They have to be completely in here, right? There and at the bottom. You don't want it sticking out anywhere. It's pretty straightforward, guys. And then, you know, you're gonna start clipping your uh, hog rings, right? Wherever they are. Same thing to each one of these spots like that. See, one, two, you guys get it. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna attach like the long one here, the long one here. On that, I'm gonna attach the three, then those two. So I'm gonna have both of these completely attached to the foams, right? And then we're gonna move on. I'll show you how to attach them to the actual seat. Okay, guys, so I got that one done. Uh, it's almost ready to go on. So when you're doing this one, I just wanna specify and point this out again. So these little things here, you don't wanna be working on it and pushing down on it because you will break those or bend them. So you could put like a board in the middle or something, but so anyways, I'm gonna do these three, then those, wrap it around and I'll show you what's next once I'm done this one. Okay, so we got the ass cushion done and the back cushion done. So now you flip it over, right? Cause what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull this and you're gonna hook it underneath and you're just gonna go around. And I mean, this part is, you have to use your own discretion on how much you wanna pull it. This doesn't line up perfectly with the edge. That's how the other seat was too, but it looks perfect. That, like it is the way it is, that's how it's supposed to be, right? See, it kind of goes like that. So anyways, so underneath here, see there's these little hooks. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull it Figure out where your little hole is gonna be. Mark it with like a pen or something or a pencil, right? And then you're gonna grab your hole punch. I got the second biggest hole setting picked, right? You go like that, you punch a hole in it and then you connect it, right? And then you're gonna connect maybe like this one and this one, same thing. You're evenly gonna go around and connect all these, stretching it nicely so it's all wrapped around just the way it's supposed to be. You get what I'm saying? And it does look incredible once you do it at the end. You just have to go around and just start attaching these. So I'm going to do the cushion right now, and then I'll show you how to do that one after. All right, so I'm about halfway through this, so I just want to show you. See, I got this attached like that i'm gonna do these ones next right i got the back attached nothing to it so now when you're attaching these sides right if you're scared that you're pulling it too much right what you want to do is you can always make a hole 
like further out. So you don't want to over stretch it and then make a hole because if you decide that you stretched it too much, right, then you're going to have a hole. So you want to stretch it, not too crazy tight on the sides, just stretch it, make a hole. Later, if you decide you need to stretch it more, you can get it. You can just take it off and make another hole and you'll be fine. But if you stretch it with all your might, right, and then make the hole, and made then decide you stretched it too much, then there's no going back, right? Okay, so I'm gonna continue with that. It's really coming along. Okay, so here we have it, see? Looking very nice. Let's flip it over and show you guys. So there it is. Look at that, looking awesome. So basically, we can just pop this right in there line these up and pop it in. But the thing is, um, the back has to go on first. So now we're gonna work on that. So what we gotta do is obviously just put it on nice and snug, right? It will just fit nicely. So let me do that right now. Okay, so see, I'm just putting this on, like obviously the way it was. So these things here, see, so you just fold them under. Like, see this one here? There is cutouts for it. So you just fold that underneath in there as you're putting this on, right? And I mean, obviously you get the foam all the way back and then you're gonna start slowly, you know, doing the same thing. See, there's these hooks here. Obviously you know that because you took yours apart. So you're gonna go like that. You're gonna mark it with a pen punch a little hole with the hole punch and hook it up, see? And that will get it to go on, same thing. Don't stretch it too much at first. If you're worried, it's always better to do less and then stretch it more after. So we're gonna put this whole thing on now. I don't think I'm really gonna show that too much unless I come across some kind of complication. Okay, things are looking really good. I'm down to a few more uh, holes right here to hook up. So what you got to do now is um, So right under here look I'll show you there is a little hole in there for a screw Here, let me try to show you the, That attaches the back so just to make your own life easier here see you figure out exactly where that is And then you grab this thing and you just mark it so then later when you're screwing the back on you're not going crazy trying to find where the hole is um, in the metal to screw the screw in, right? Okay, I'm gonna continue. Okay, that looks very nice. So now this just snaps in. Okay, honestly, that looks so good. I am so, so happy with this seat. Okay, next guys, what we gotta do is up top here, you're gonna get your finger and you can feel where the headrest goes. There's like, like a circle and a circle. So you need to grab a marker, figure out where the circle is and mark it. Okay, so I got the little circles marked out. So now you're gonna have to do it I got this little knife like this. So you get the idea. Once you can see in there, you might have to make it a little bit bigger. You're gonna make it just big enough for the headrest to fit. Okay, so I'm gonna cut these out using both hands. Okay, so I got the two little holes. Beauty. Okay, next we're doing this. Okay, once you know how to do this, it's actually not bad. And do not go off this video yet because at the end I'm gonna show you the before and the after of the whole interior transformation in the car. It's gonna blow your mind. All right, so you put a little screwdriver in here. See, and you kind of pry this out. See? 
So once you got that out, you do the same thing to the other side. You just kind of pry this part out. See, it just comes out. Okay, so I'm gonna open that up off camera. Okay, so now that you have this opened up, see this plastic thing will come right out like so. See what I mean? Once you got that out, now you can squish the foam inside and you can get the foam out because you can squish it, right? So I'm gonna do that off camera, pull this thing off. Okay, so now that you got this out, you're just gonna squish this into like a ball and then you can get it in there. It's gonna take you about 10 minutes of sitting there and squishing it and moving it around to get this on right. But that's all it takes, 10 minutes. See what I mean? Just a little bit at a time. Okay, so once you got it in there nicely like I did, this just goes back in. Pretty straightforward. Okay, now you're just squeezing this plastic thing and this plastic thing into there. You just, you just sit there and you just squeeze it in all around. And that is it, and this thing will be done. So I'm quickly gonna do that. Okay, so there it is, looking very nice. So now all we gotta do is throw the back on and put that in. Uh, let me show you the back, because I painted it. So there it is, as you can see, painted that and that with that incredible paint. This thing looks brand new. So what I'm gonna do, guys, is I'm gonna wait for this to dry. I'm gonna put it on the seat. I'm gonna put the seat in the car, and then I'm gonna show you guys the most amazing before and after transformation of a BMW E36 interior. See you guys in about two hours. Okay guys, so there it is all finished. As you can see, it looks incredible. I am super, super happy with it. It's in really good light as you can see, because we are outside. Not one thing is out of place on it as far as I'm concerned. It looks so, 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 so good, guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw it right into this beautiful car right now, and I will show you the insane before and after. It looks good, doesn't it? Okay, so stay tuned. I'll see you in a few minutes. Okay, guys, take a really, really good look here. I want, to, I want you guys to see this. See, there's lots of damage from the sun. See what I mean? Uh, look at this whole thing. It's really, really like faded and dry looking. We got a crack here. Look at these headrests, guys. These are all cracked, as you can see. Like, I want you guys to see the truth here. Look at these. And this is a high definition video, guys. So hit the three little dots and make sure you're watching it in HD. See, look at this. We got a hole here, guys. Some rust circles. Everything's faded. That side's a little bit better. Look at these seats, guys. Not very good. Let's go to the other side of the car. I mean, the car is beautiful. It looks awesome. But the interior is the S word. You know what I mean, guys? Look at this driver's seat. Just showing it how it is, guys. So that is the before, guys. Now check out the after. Okay guys, here is the incredible after. The whole car is looking insane, by the way. Check out the interior. I am speechless. Check out the door panels that were all broken and falling apart look how nice those turned out steering wheels looking brand new carpets looking nice floor mats the seats look incredible the stitching and everything check out this side 
So there it is, guys. There it is. Still putting dual exhaust on the back off of an E46 M3, guys. Throw me a subscription if you want to see that. Till next time, everybody.